What went through your mind? You know, she didn't deliver the judgment. All she did was to read the summary of the judgment. And um, I was not surprised. Not at all. I expected that judgment because already the first day she had already told me to move on. So the judgment that uh, the minister is given four days didn't come as a surprise at all. And being told to move on, especially as a widow who has lost someone, it must be a difficult thing to hear somebody tell you that. Uh, it was, I was very angry. I'll tell you why. We have the Holocaust. I've never heard that judge say the Holocaust victims should move on. We have 9-11. I have never had the same judge say the Americans victims of 9-11 should move on. But she had the audacity to tell me to move on. That is why I called her a racist based on that. She has not addressed the Holocaust. The people who were affected in the Holocaust, it was the most painful thing. It's similar to what I went through. But then in my case, because I'm a black woman, it's a black man who is dead, she tells me to move on. It was insulting, to be honest. I found it very insulting. Would you like to have an opportunity to sit down with uh, Yalus? I don't want to speak to Walus. I'll tell you why. Walus, as we all know, had a list of our leaders who, according to the court records, and Walus and Debbie Lewis themselves, they were going to be assassinated. On that list, there was Joe Slovo's name, there was Madiba's name, and many of our other leaders. So I have nothing to say to Walus, except to say, Walus, tell us who helped you compile the list, who helped you plan to assassinate my husband. I don't want his apology. I don't want to meet him. As far as I'm concerned, all I want is the truth, nothing else. Madam I don't know if you'd be able to confirm. I saw reports yesterday in the Sunday papers indicating that your daughter had written a letter to him that she also wants to know what really happened. Lindy, where my youngest daughter, for the last 20 years, has always wanted to meet Debbie Lewis and Wallace. And I do understand where she's coming from. She was only 12 and her, her father was assassinated. She's not going to go there like, hi uncle, how are you? She wants to know the truth like me, like the whole country. And she has our support. And just finally, um, the Minister of, of Correctional Services as well as Justice and Constitutional Development, Minister Masuta, has indicated that in all likelihood he would be appealing this ruling. Is this something that you support? I support the minister 100%. I really want him to appeal the judgment because the judgment is unfair. Okay, thank you. Um, that is um, the widow of uh, Chris Sani joining us here at the Constitutional Hill.